Thank you, Dennis. Dr. Janet Bergstrom is an internationally renowned professor in cinema and media studies and a great friend and notable colleague of Tashomi's. So I'm happy to introduce her to share some of her treasured memories. Janet. For a while, Tashomi and I shared an office and um, we had uh, some quiet conversations. And I like to ask him about how he grew up sometimes. And I just remember bits and pieces, but I remember sometimes like an image. Uh, he told me about walking down a dirt path. Not like, he said, no, no, not like a sidewalk. It's like a dirt path. And he said, how long of a dirt path? And he was trying to describe exactly, you know, how different it was. I, hmm. One time he said, you know, I speak Italian. I said, you do? How? And he said, well, you know, Ethiopia was invaded by the, uh, the Italians during World War II. We said, oh, like that explains how you speak Italian. And um, I, I mainly want to share two memories, extremely vivid memories I have. And maybe they're not even exactly right, and they're really about Toshomi's family. I remember um, when Toshomi told me that he was going out of town to see a very special lady. Uh, he was going to fly there, and maybe it was Atlanta. Maybe I got the place wrong. And he flew, and he came back. So I said, well, what happened? And he, he just looked really happy. And he said, she's going to come here and uh, see if she likes Los Angeles. And then um, she did. I didn't see her. I only heard her from Toshomi. Then he looked even happier. And then, like, a week later, he said, well, I'm going to fly again. I'm, I'm going to go there. And, and I said, well, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to see her again. And uh, then he did, and he came back, and then he said, we're going to get married. So um, I'm telling you, when Toshomi looked happy, he really looked happy. Um, the other time that I remember, when Toshomi looked way happier than, than usual, and I saw him look happy a lot of times, I also saw him look not happy. Uh, is when um, his first child was born, Medeget, and he was floating on air. He said, you know, now I'm human. I know I'm human. I didn't know I was human before. Now I know. I'm human. I know what it is to be human, and you should all know what it is to be human, too, and you don't know what it is to be human until you have a child, and now I have a child, and now I'm human, and, and it was like that for about two weeks, and... Um, <laughs> So I was, you know, really thrilled, and then I didn't get to see this creation until a, a few weeks later, but I remember that I think uh, Mazo must have invited us over for a bunch of us for some kind of little get-together, and uh, we were all sitting in a, around, and somebody said, well, to, to Mazo, are you going to have another child? And she just had one. I mean, are you going to have another one? And, and she said, well, I have to show me want. And, and so obviously they both wanted, so there was another one. Um, I have to say, and then the other memory actually that goes with it, in, in my mind anyway, is uh, when he was so proud saying, you're never going to guess what, uh, Medigate, guess what, uh, she's going to medical school, of all the things she could do, she's doing the most difficult thing, and you know, and then she graduated, she graduated from medical school, and you know, it's, wow, um, so I, I don't know, you know, to show me then later, like, now, you know, he has his office next to mine, and uh, I know everybody seems to have these memories of him, like he was only sitting under those trees by Louvel, but actually I saw him uh, coming into his office and going out of his office. I can't say I actually saw him in his office. Um, <laughs> But it's like I can see him right now, you know, it's like, you know, he's coming off the elevator and he's coming toward the office and he's coming toward me and he has that great big smile. And I think, oh, I'm so happy to see you because it makes everything around here like way better. And uh, so at any rate, I have his picture right now. I have his picture in two different rooms uh, where I live. And um, I feel like he's with me all the time. And I, I can't accept the fact that he isn't here, so I don't. I just think he's with me all the time. He's with us all the time. So. <laughs>